All right, we've already got the uh, the hub off. I need to get that spacer off of there, which means I'm gonna have to take the uh, backing plate off here for a couple minutes. So uh, we've got these uh, lock tabs on here, and the easiest way to get them off is just put a flat chisel. Get a little space, and then uh, gently. You don't need to. Uh, You don't want to put it across it and hammer on it and chisel the darn thing in half. All right. Now the pain in the ass here is it's going to take your steering arm off too. In case this doesn't work, we won't be able to put this back on. So I'm not going to. You could use a pipe wrench, grab it with a pipe wrench, and uh, spin it off, which is probably one of the easier ways. But uh, I don't want to screw up the seal surface and have to fight with it uh, too much. It's a better bite. It's got a sharper edge on it. The test fit. This one is machined to slip on loosely. Hmm. Basically, what that's done is that's spaced it out an eighth of an inch. All right, so we're putting the uh, backing plate back on for now because um, we're testing clearances. This is we're proto, still prototyping. Uh, looking to do is make sure that all of this fits with the uh, stock. Uh, brake shield on. Okay, it's hitting. So on the uh, on the other one. <laughs> 
I had to bend it back just a hair to get it to clear. Let's see what we're up. Okay. Looks like it's it's clearing the uh, uh, the brake bracket, but it's definitely rubbing on the. Uh, So, with that other one I was uh, doing the testing on, the backing plate was so beat up that uh, I got it to clear, but... There we go. Nice. <laughs> All right. Grease isn't going to push it away that much, so we'll fix it some more here. Do this on new rotors, be careful, but all right, there we go. All right, here they start it. It's it's gone. Oh, okay, cool. All right, well, now we need to try it with the uh, check the spacing on the rotors and that stuff. Um, so we'll take them off of there. Get them back on here with the right uh, spin. Now, part of the trick here is going to be putting this spacer in here and then getting it to mount it on here. Oh, and I got to spread your pads because. Uh, I put a thicker rotor on. Oh. Okay. Now, let's try this again. The spacer in here. Enough to drop everything, and you're good to go. Oh, fun's in it for it. Okay. So we're just gonna snug it up here a bit. Okay, cool. All we're hitting is the pad. That's great. The bolt's not uh, bolt's not too long there. I can't focus close enough to tell. Anyway, when we uh, pull it back apart, remind me, and we'll bolt it up together on that just that bracket, and then we'll be able to see that 
How much clearance there is? The bolt head, the end of the bolt there is actually uh, in or out. Okay. It, it can't be out any, uh, but flush or in a little bit will be uh, fine. So basically, there it is. Now the question is, is uh, putting your rim on it because that was the that was basically the issue, the whole point.